Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have Cloud Retainer. And if you guys didn't watch my last video, you'll know that I indeed did lose the 50-50 for Cloud Retainer. However, comma, I decided to go back to the banner and we did get very, very lucky because I was able to get Cloud Retainer here basically directly after I got Chi Chi. It only took me about 20 or 30 rolls, so I was able to get her at early pity, and now it's our time to build her. I'm really looking forward to today's video. She is a very, very cool character who I really, really wanted. One, because of the movement you just saw there, and two, because she is absolutely gorgeous. But with that being said, why don't we get in to today's video? But quickly, before we do that, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you guys that we are coming very close to 85,000 subscribers, which is a huge number. And when we hit it, we are going to be doing a bunch of Blessing of the Welcome Moon giveaways. So if you want a chance to win one of those, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. The giveaway will go live when we hit that big, big number. But with that all being said, why don't we go and build the crane herself? All right, everybody, welcome back. We left off in my last wishing video, kind of depressed, but we got higher, higher hopes ahead of us with Cloud Retainer now and a dream of building her to her max potential. But with that being said, before we build her, I think it's important that we understand the fundamentals of her kit. Because if we don't understand her kit, then how can we know how to build her? So we're gonna try out Zian Yun just a little bit here. If you would like to skip past the kit review, I will leave a timestamp here for you. You can skip to that timestamp and that will take you into the build portion of the video. But for everybody else who's still here, let's talk about Cloud Retainer. So as for her normal attacks, they are going to be very normal, normal attacks. That's why we call them normal attacks because they are very normal. Next up for her skill, she is going to fly into the air and drop down like a phoenix and kill all the enemies. This skill is very simple. It is basically just a huge sky ladder that has a 9 second cooldown, but you can actually use this sky ladder up to 3 times in a row. So if I click E, 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 and E, I didn't Okay, well, but don't do that. But usually what you want to do is you go E once, E twice, E three times, and then you drop and do a huge amount of damage. You can do this one time to get it quickly, or you can do it three times. It is completely up to you. Just know the more times you jump, the higher the damage scaling is going to be. Now, that is not the main part of her kit. The main part is, of course, her burst, which spawns a little crane onto the field that does AoE animo damage and spawns that little crane that kind of sits beside us there. What that crane does for us is, first of all, if this enemy will attack me, bop, it's going to... Oh, never mind. It took too long, so the crane despawned. Good job, slime. There we go. You're going to see... The crane is going to heal us. This crane is going to continuously follow our active party member and based on Zian Yun's attack, it is going to heal our main party member. And the second thing that it's going to do is when you jump, you go higher and can do increased plunging attack damage. You're able to do this up to eight times because the crane spawns with eight stacks of adeptal assistance, which will assist you in jumping higher. You will consume one stack of Adeptal Assistance every time you use your plunge attack, meaning you have eight instances of using this huge, huge burst. Another thing to note about her burst is that when you do use the plunging attack with another character, it's actually going to deal an instance of AoE animo damage as well. So you see whenever we do a little ground pound there, boom, it also does animo damage as well, which is very, very nifty and very nice. That's everything that I would consider noteworthy about her burst. The last two things, her passive talents. One is going to give you increased crit rate based on how many opponents you hit with white clouds at dawn, which is her skill. It can give you up to a max of 10% crit rate, which is really, really huge for any character she wants to support. And then her second passive here is basically just an increased damage percentage to that AoE animo attack that you are getting from doing the plunging damage. She is a very, very nifty character that's going to unlock a lot of potential for different DPSs. And I think it's going to be a character who's kind of like a customary support for a long, long time to come. And as a character, I would definitely recommend picking up on any of your Genshin Impact accounts. 
And that, my friends, is the Cloud Retainer, a character who I'm really looking forward to using and just seeing what characters I can pair with her to completely unlock her potential. But in order to unlock her potential, the first thing we have to do is build her. Now, I have been grinding for the past couple days here to get all the mats I need for her. I got some EXP books. I got some Mora. I even started grinding the boss. I got a teleport waypoint there. So why don't we just go over and fight uh this big lion looking thing what's it called solitary sunai okay cool but before we fight the lion boss i do want to let you guys know that we actually have an exclusive genshin impact code which i will throw up on the screen now for you guys in order to redeem codes in genshin impact it's very simple all you got to do go to your settings account redeem code put in that code i just gave you guys and bam you're gonna get a ton of rewards these rewards include 10 adventurers exp 10,000 mora five enhancement ores and a couple side dishes as well that code will also be in the description and in the pinned comment below if you want to copy and paste it but moving on i think it's time we take on the boss let's switch up our teams here because we're not using a level one zian yun let's switch over to maybe a more interesting team why don't we go and try out the latest character navia navia has kind of been a staple on my account for quite a while now and she's one of those characters who can just absolutely destroy bosses and this one is no exception i've been trying navia out against this boss and as you can see she demolishes the boss she already has the thing on half health boom 150k oh <laughs> uh, i feel so bad for bosses now they don't even get to do anything before i kill them oh god okay maybe they do go back in oh wait that's a tornado oh god navia get him okay we're good <laughs> that scared me for a second there luckily navia got it done let's claim our awards we're gonna get three cloud seam scales and the god goblet not that good actually i'll lock that piece that could be good for somebody but with that being said i think it's about time we get to upgrading our cloud retainer she's currently level 20 that will not do we got to get her to at least level 80 at the minimum so let's get her all the way there ascension 60 ascension 70 and ascension level O. okay we're missing a couple things here i'm gonna need 19 more of the clear water jades and then one more run of the big bad boss fight now unfortunately for us that lion's gonna take a little while to respawn so we can't fight it right away so why don't we go and get some of those world materials we need let's start the compilation And I think this is the last one if I don't die to these hilly trolls before I get them. Oh god. Ah, get the get the jades. Get them. Okay, I gotta run. Thank you to whoever this was. Co-op, leave. I gotta go. Anyways, now that we've escaped the domain that is co-op, I believe we can now ascend our cloud retainer to... I'm an idiot. I have to kill the beast one more time. Okay, then give me one minute here. Holy crap, I just did 220k and obliterated him. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, give me my blossom. This is definitely the last one we need. And we're going to get the god flower. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. For the first time in Kekman Builds a Character History, we actually got a good flower or literally any good piece. I can't believe it. That's never happened before. This is a whole new experience for me. I've never got a good piece from a boss fight. Okay, we got to get something good here. Surely we roll straight crit rate and crit damage. Come on. Uh, it's trash. Okay, it's really bad. Okay, we somehow managed to roll the only stat we didn't need twice. Well... I guess we're going to continue our streak of never getting a god piece from any boss. But that being said, we are going to finish our Zian Yun and get her to level 80. Let's go. Level 80. We take it. Max level reached. And we will not be doing level 90 today because it costs way too much to do level 90 for any character. But 
even though we're not getting level 90, what we are getting is one, two more quaint fates. I, I guess I already claimed the first one. But that aside, if you guys don't already know, every time you claim your cloud retainer wishes, you're actually guaranteed to get a five star on the standard banner with those wishes. It just happens every time. It's a classic case of you get the five star once you level up the cloud retainer. It doesn't usually happen on the first, but then on that second one, you're guaranteed to get it. God damn it. Well, moving on from that, no five star Sag, but we still have our girl, Zian Yun, who is gonna take us to the next level. First thing we have to do, build her a weapon. Now she has a lot of good weapons. She can run Favonius, she can run the O Swarm's Eye, she can run Skyward Atlas if I want her to, which is actually a good option because she does scale with attack percent. So I actually really like the option of Skyward Atlas here for her. The bonus effect really won't help us all that much, but the base attack and the attack percent is gonna help us a lot with the scaling with her talents. Speaking of her talents, let's level them up. I have, I think, all the materials I need to take them as far as I can. So we're just going to take both her skill and her burst to the maximum level that we are able to. Level 6, and can we do level 7? Yes, we can. And now, we have her at 7-7. Seven, seven. Can we do 8? Oh, we can if we get a couple more Forbidden Curse Scrolls. That's kind of tempting. Do I have any in my inventory? No, I do not. I literally have exactly one. Well, luckily for us, though, it's whale time. Look away, free to plays. Do not watch as I buy out these sealed scrolls and go and craft exactly what I need. Just that simple. Let's go. And now what I can do is take Cloud Retainer skill all the way to a sweet, sweet level eight. I meant her burst, not her skill. Anyways, it's level eight now. Perfect. And now we have her at seven, eight, one, which, which I think is a decent talent level for her. That means the last thing we have to do is of course the dreaded artifacts. Now there are a couple good artifact sets for Cloud Retainer. The main two options being Viridescent Venerare and then also Songs of Days Past. They're both pretty decent for her. I personally think Viridescent Venerare is just gonna be better than the Song of Days Past since Viridescent is just like the best set for every animo character. So I'm just gonna throw her on a bunch of different pieces here. The main thing we're looking for is attack percent and energy recharge. Like this one on Jean here has attack percent flat attack. I like that. This one on Faruzan has attack percent and energy recharge. We want that. We're looking for an ER or attack percent sands. We probably want energy recharge since we do have an attack percent weapon and we probably don't have a lot of recharge right now. So we're going to take an energy recharge sands uh, straight from Jean here. Put that onto our cloud retainer and then all we really want now is an attack percent goblet and an attack percent hat are going to be the two main things you do of course have the option of going ammo damage on the goblet although that only really helps our personal damage and then you also have the option of going crit rate or even healing bonus if you really want on the hat the only reason you'd ever really go crit rate though is if you're running a favonius weapon on her like the favonius codex other than that, she doesn't particularly need crit rate. Attack percent is going to be best for me since I am running her on a pretty standard build. And it looks like I have one circlet with attack percent that also has crit rate and damage. Again, crit stats aren't that important for her, but it just happens to be the one I have. So let's take this thing as far as we can, see what stats we can get. We're going to get some crit rate, some flat defense, not the greatest, but I really just want to get this thing to the max level just so I can make it work on my cloud retainer. Another crit rate roll, that's fine. And then for our last roll, we're gonna get a flat attack. That's actually probably the best stat on there, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna put that on our cloud retainer. And then the last thing we need is gonna be an offset goblet, which of course is gonna be of the attack percent variety. We have a spare one here with 7% attack, 26% crit damage. That's a lot of crit stats. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. We're going to be rocking 3,000 attack. That is a crap ton of attack. We got 14k HP. Uh, not much elemental mastery. We're going to be running 36 to 130, which isn't the greatest ratio ever, but it'll do. Although, we also have 160 recharge. So I think that is a pretty decent build. I am certainly happy with that. Maybe I could have used a little bit more energy recharge, but it just so happens I didn't have the pieces. But that is perfectly okay. Anyways, I think it's about time we go and try out 
are Cloud Retainer. There's a couple characters I want to see if she pairs well with, so I want to try using her here today. We're going to go to floor 11, and we're going to go against a bunch of different slime varieties. And I just want to pair her with a couple different characters. First one I want to try is Catching and see how this works for her. So here we go. We're going to get Energy Recharge plus 20%. That's going to be very nice. We're going to need to do this. And then Kaching. We're going to need your E ability. And now, boom, 31k. <laughs> look at that. Go Kaching. Oh my goodness. Look how much she's doing with physical. Okay, we go again. This. And now we just get out of the freeze. Boom! Oh, look at that Electro damage! Oh, that's so much fun! Oh my gosh! Next character, Hu Tao! Put down the bird, put up the Hu Tao E, and now we jump! At 43k! Oh my gosh! Wait, 42k! Oh, this guy is so screwed! 31! Next character, Ayaka! Here we go! So we do this, oh, and then Ayaka Infusion, and now we jump! Look at there go! 37! <laughs> Even with physical, it does so much. Here we go. We have Shenna E up. Shenna E. And now Ayaka. And now we jump. Boom! Wait. Oh, wait. I didn't get Cryo Infusion. There we go. There we go. 51k. 51! <laughs> 51 casually. That is so broken. Next character. We go Navia next. Okay. We do this again. Boom. Put down this. Physical. And boom. And boom. Boom! 57! Again! Come on! Hey, was that 180? No. Oh my! Oh, he's dead! <laughs> what the heck is that? Alright, one final character. Let's use D Luke. Alright, here we go. We're gonna use this. Bennett burst. D Luke burst. And then we get the pyro infusion. And now we jump. Now we jump. Oh my goodness. 39? 36. He, he's already going to second phase. Go, D Luke! D Luke nutty! And we jump and we plunge! I need to do it one more time. One last time. We got the bird up again. I just need D Luke burst. There we go. One final time. Let's plunge to victory. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the power of Cloud Retainer. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I sure did. This unit is cracked out of her mind. She unlocks so much potential for other DPS units. I hope you guys are encouraged to pull her too. But anyways, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.